Hey everybody, what's up? Iron Man 3406 here. Another video for you on the old YouTube. Uh, a little different, nothing antique related in uh, in this video. I'm actually sitting in a brand new Cat 335 excavator, and there's a pretty cool new feature that uh, I want to just uh, put out there. That if anybody's wondering how to use it, this will kind of just give you the rundown on it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into it. It's called joystick steering. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Just doing this on my phone this time, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, stay tuned. This is a pretty cool new feature that uh, I think uh, is going to be super beneficial for guys that have to track their excavators a really long distance. So we'll be right back. Catch you soon. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm sitting in a brand new 335 Caterpillar Next Gen excavator and wanted to give you a quick tutorial on one of the new features that came out with the latest annual product update and a feature that you'll find on your your Next Gen excavators um, coming in as of late. Uh, so it's this feature called joystick steering. So if you're familiar with the Caterpillar Mini Excavator line, you'll know that they released a feature a little while back called Stick Steer. You can press a button on the left-hand joystick and then track the machine and steer it using the left-hand joystick, just like on a skid steer. Well, Cat decided that that was a feature worthy of putting into the big excavators as well. So I'm just gonna give you a quick little rundown on how it works. So on our left-hand joystick, default from the factory, um, we've got this little black button here. When we press that, see on the screen we get joystick steering active. We get a nice indicator here showing that uh, the controls for the joystick have changed where your hydraulic functions are moved to so that you can still run your hydraulics while you're tracking the machine. And then up in the top corner here, we've got a little green indicator just showing that we're in stick steer mode as well as a speedometer indicator lit up in orange right now that's a <clears throat> um, cruise control feature so we want to start uh, tracking this machine we are just gonna press the left hand joystick ahead and you can see we are tracking ahead without using the, uh, the foot controls you want to steer left and right no problem just run that joystick left and right and you can steer on the fly using the stick steer. We need to go backwards, not a problem. Run that joystick backwards. Now we're tracking in reverse. Let's say you're going on a really, really long straight haul and you don't want to sit here and hold that joystick ahead in the forward position and you don't want to run your feet on the, on the pedals because your feet get sore. That's where we can use that cruise control mode. So again, we get tracking forward. On the left hand joystick, the bottom button on the back, we're going to give that a click. We're going to let go of the joystick. Now we're tracking ahead. See that little speedometer indicator went from orange to green, showing that we are in the, uh, the cruise control mode. If we need to steer while we're in cruise control, no problem. You just steer left and right, just like you would if you were running the stick steer in manual. And if you want to shut it off, you just give that bottom button on the back of the left hand joystick a click come to a stop you can see that speedometer indicator went back to orange identifying that we're in like standby mode um, so that's all of your steering controls now being able to run them from the from the left hand joystick again on the fly if you need to run any of your hydraulic functions cat's got you looked after um, if you need to swing your house on the left hand joystick you got the little rolly rolly knob here you just run it forward or backwards swing your house while you're in joystick steer mode if you need to run your stick the rolly knob on the right hand joystick is going to give you stick function while you're in stick steer mode and then your bucket control stays the same just just like it always is and your boom up and down is up and down on the right hand joystick so uh so yeah that's joystick steering on the new Caterpillar next gen full size excavators not just available on the minis anymore. So, um, if you've got a new machine that's just showed up, give it a look, see if it's got joystick steering. If it has it, uh, give it a try, see what you think of it. If anybody has any comments or questions, just leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. So, anyways, have a good weekend. 
and we'll talk to you when we talk to you. Thanks. Just another real quick little uh, tidbit of information here. When you guys are shutting down your uh, new next gen uh, excavators, always make sure you press the push to start button to shut the engine off as well. Uh, don't just jog that ignition dial, ignition dial. Make sure you push the button first. Then once the engine has uh, shut off, then cycle your ignition switch. Now when you cycle the ignition switch on this machine, we've got a security system or a security code. So we're going to lock it out. And uh, then we get the def purge warning showing up. So just make sure you don't kill the master disconnect switch until the def purge light goes out on the back of the machine. So again, if you're shutting that master switch off, really important to make sure that orange light goes out first before we kill the battery disconnect. When that orange light is on, it's purging def fluid from the def injector up on the engine back to the tank. There we go, orange light went out. Now we're safe to shut off battery disconnect. Bada bing, bada boom. Also not a bad idea on these next gen excavators that have the push start to uh, lock your doors. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap for this one, everybody. It was short and sweet, but just wanted to go over that little tutorial for that joystick steering, and I guess the proper shutdown procedure real quick and dirty on uh, anything with the, the def purge on the Caterpillar side. So uh, if you liked the video, go with a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, like I say, just leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And like always, my name is Nathan, Ironman3406, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.